I hope that what we've explored in Audacity has helped expand your understanding. For now, we're going to save your project so you can return to work on it later. We'll call it our finale for today. To save your project, go up to the menu bar at the top and click on the file menu. A little ways down, find Save Project and click on that. A box will appear. You're going to want to pick the location where you wish to save your project. For HMS students, I suggest saving it in your student folder, which is located on your desktop. You can choose where you want your file to be located, otherwise in the computer. And you want to give it a file name that is something you're going to remember when you go back to it next time. Remember, this is not making a sound file for you, but it is saving your Audacity project so you can go back to work on it later. I'll just call it Sample Project for now. And when you click Save, it's going to save your project just in this format so that you can go back to it at another time. And that's it. I hope you've learned a little bit about Audacity and that you look forward to using it again in the future. If you want to go back to another tutorial to review some of what we've covered today, feel free to click on one that you'd like to explore. If not, explore some of the other tutorials I have loaded. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoy using Audacity.